whole life. I was elected mayor here after my husband, Theodore, the former mayor, passed away during a sandstorm. As a citizen, I've watched Sandrock dwindle and nearly shrivel up. So now, it's my job, no, my duty, to keep this place alive. Which I couldn't do without the help of all my lovely friends and colleagues, of course. Good, yeah, that's good stuff. We can use that. All right, let's start with the questions. A lot of outsiders find the Sandrock mindset hard to understand. As you said, Sandrock is dwindling. But it seems like all of you still have the capacity to pick up and move somewhere more prosperous. Why not do- oh, Wow, gosh. Actually, it skipped too quickly, that's, sorry. That's a complicated question to answer. Well, try to keep it compact. You know how readers can be. No attention span these days. Uh, all, all right. Well, simply put, this place means something to us. For people like me, it's been a part of our lives since childhood. Everything we've ever experienced happened all around this oasis. We do this for Martel, for Rhonda, Theodore, all the people we lost here. The people who loved this place no matter what. If we let Sandrock disappear, we let their memories fade with it and allow their sacrifice to be <sighs> meaningless. I won't let that happen. Oh, sorry, was that too long? Maybe I can rephrase that. No, uh, I just, that was good. <laughs> we can use that. Next question. He's getting to him. What if you run out of water? Happy birthmas. Hey there. Mm -hmm. How do the little woods start? Wow. Cool. Thank you so much. Anything I give it today? Much. What's it called? Yeah, it gets amplified. Maybe Zeke could answer that. Who's your favorite builder? Come on, you can tell me. You better say mine. Uh, you better say yes, mine. Uh, my name. I have thought about that. Who inspires you? <laughs> Putting it down. <laughs> What's my name? Witness me. Let's go get some food. I know where to get quartz and all that stuff. We just need to go get it. So much easier doing it like that. For the price of this game, the amount of content you get out of it is absolutely staggering. Like, I honestly, like, I try and say, like, if I can get for every dollar I spend an hour worth of fun out of this, then I've more than, well, yeah, uh, more than, like, earned it. Whatever I was trying to say there. 
and I'm getting my my money back for sure in the amount of content. Ridiculous. Uh, basically, we we're ready to do an upgrade. What? Pickaxe. Oh, not the pickaxe, the um. Normal axe. Basically, it would have saved me some energy. Extra materials when logging. Yep. Nice level up. Head on home. Mm 
Tomorrow we'll upgrade our axe. Coco's now buddy. Wait, can, I, can I please? Does Coco need a place to, to sleep? No bed. Well, <laughs> where's the, the leather? Needs salt? God damn it. Well, he usually sleeps and about as is, so. Go buy some salt. Did you go check in? Crew photo? Got it. Something's gonna happen. Oh, there you are. I think that's about everyone. Go ahead and take your place for the group photo. Like, Logan's gonna show up or something. Eagles are gonna here, burn down the thing. I just I want know. to take a moment to thank everyone for being here at the Little Woods and for always being there for Sandrock. That's right. <laughs> It's been a long road up to this point, but at the end of the day, there's one thing we can all agree on. This town is our home. I'm happy to announce that this small grove we've planted is only the first step. After this, City Hall will begin working to secure funding for a new project, the building of a road to Portia. With this road, we can shorten the distance between us and that city-state, driving down the cost of imported water. With a proper water source, and our newfound ability to plant trees in the desert, it is my belief, no, my conviction, that Sandrock will be green again. Um, Madam Mayor, do you mind stepping into the frame? Um, oh, right. Of course. Everybody say trees! Trees! Now, where's the other mayor? The woman you wanted featured in the article? Ma'am, time for your close-up! Mr. Ernest, do you mean me? I'm the minister here. Apologies. Apologies to be sure. Still getting used to how you all run things in Sandrock. I'm sure you're I'm very busy as well, so let's just come with me and we'll find you a nice backdrop for your front pager. Thanks again to everyone for being here. As they say, see you in the funny papers. All right, folks, show's over. Head on back to your homes. Silvercore, let's escort. Unsure? You're on the perimeter. Cap, you're with me. Pen. You stick with the minister and poofy pants guy. 
roll out. Oh, you just had to try. He didn't even look at the photo. <laughs> He's still going on about those chilies. Say fuzzy pickle. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Thank. You. Oh, huh? Where's my horse? Careful. I'll handle this. Yeah. What did you hit him with? Justice, are you all right? That was cool, boss. My gosh, that was Logan. Oh, the humanity! They took Matilda! Won't someone go after him? I'm afraid those two are long gone. Are you all right, Sheriff? <laughs> Do you want me to help you up? We could come back <laughs> later. <laughs> I'm more than all right, buddy. I got it right where I want them. You do? I've got it! Justice, while careening through the air, must have reached into his utility belt and whipped out a tracking device, attaching it to Logan's horse, which will lead us directly to his lair! Brilliant! Tracking what? What kind of budget do you think we have? Right? <laughs> no. The substance stuck to that sinful scoundrel Steve was none other than catnip. Oh. Jesus Christ. Are we going to use the cat to find him? Captain? Ho! Now, all we have to do is... <gasps> Dang! He's going pretty quick. Unsure. Let's ride. You two. Anybody who can fight. It's now or never. Follow that cat. Follow the cat. You heard the man. Anyone willing to fight, get whatever supplies you need from town and follow that cat. Okay. Do I have to follow right now? Because I do not have a horse with me. Yeah, that's a, that's a long way to run. Can I go get my horse? Please and thank you. My name is Cuba P. I'm the king of the rumba beat. And when I play the maracas, I go chick chick boom chick chick boom I don't know why that song came into my head, but it did. The really modest guy, though yet he's the hottest guy in Havana. In Havana. Then si, si senorita, I don't know, but I like a cheeky bum chi. It's very nice. So full of spice. Need salt. Back here, real quick, Owen. Make sure my animals are happy. You get out of the freaking thing so I can pet you, you silly creature. What is it, girl? Why are you meowing?
Yield, yes, very nice. There you go, Coco. All right, let's go. Hang on. Do I have any, any bullets, rifle bullets? Can I make bullets? bullets. take forever. All right, let's head on out. It looks to be that by that archway that we couldn't get through last time. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at me for? Silly cap. Here we come to save the day. Captain, the Outback, Outback Steakhouse. I could go for a steak. All right, you boys ready? Just in time. We have lost Captain. He was right by the door. But the catnip dropped off in this spot. So that means Logan and Matilda are inside. This will be high on danger. I drew up a plan before for something specifically like this. But I don't have time to dig it up. 
So here's plan B. We go in, we stick close, I'll cover you. Let's move. Cool. Sure. Oop, okay. This place does not seem stable. Not in the least. And look at the blade on the thing, that looks like an orcish axe. not get past it what but well, thought game you will not deny deny me my loot Smash, buddy. What's with all the wolf teeth pendants? I don't want them. That's the right way to go then. Fishing contest masterpiece. <laughs> Look 
Where are you, villain? Shh. Did y'all hear that? We have ways of making you talk. Yeah, we have ways. We have ways, yeah. Ways? I don't know anything. 